What up, y'all? This is your boy, Sharon Speaks. Let's get right into it. Batwoman Season 1, Episode 5. Mine is a long and a sad tale. And in this episode, we finally get the full backstory of how Beth became Alice. This episode starts off with, you know, <clears throat> Kate, you know, tracking Alice to a graveyard in Gotham where she's in morgues digging up dead skin. What the hell's up with that? I'll get to that in a little bit later. It makes so much more sense once I tell you. But um, I wanted to really just address the fact that what you're about to hear is going to be very heartbreaking. It, was, it kind of was heartbreaking for me to witness it. But here we go. So, like I said, Kate tracks Alice down to a graveyard in Gotham where Alice is trying to pick dead flesh off of bodies. You know, and... Uh, Obviously, Kate is just distraught and extremely disturbed that the, the sister that, that, that she once knew is doing is capable in doing something like this. Now, mind you, you probably wonder, how did Kate find her? Well, you remember that uh, tracking device that she had on Dodgson? Well, since Dodgson was held captive and in Alice's care, that's how Kate was able to find her. So Kate arrests her, and they take her to the, the police station. And then that's when we get into the whole... Back complete backstory. As it turns out, I'm putting I'll put it in a summarized version. As it turns out, Alice after the accident, uh, Catherine, 14 months prior to this, Catherine pretty much faked Beth's death. Now considering this, now considering how Catherine helped, you know, Kate and Jacob move on, this is pretty sickening because why would you fake a man's daughter's death, and especially manipulate him and her, him and his daughter, his remaining daughter, during a time of vulnerability. It's pretty sick if you ask me. Anyway, Beth wakes up, and she's surrounded by a father and a son. In fact, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoot back a little bit. While they're in the interrogation room, as I'm sorry, as Kate is interrogating Alice, she tells, or I should say this, Kate asks Alice. Who's Mouse and what are you doing he's playing? She's not saying anything. She's only saying, this is what I'm about to get to right now. Mouse was the boy that was there along with the father, his father, when Beth actually turned up alive. They held her captive. And when Jacob and Kate finally got there, you know, Kate was literally on the other side of the door and Alice was on the other side of the door. But the, reason, the only reason why Alice didn't say anything was because she feared that the man would actually kill her family, which makes perfect sense. But as Alice is downstairs in the basement or whatever, locked up, she looks in the sink and there's a face. And this lets me know that Mouse is actually a disfigured person, a disfigured boy. And his father's just, just looking for, desperately looking for a fresh face for his son to have. It gives me a lot of Texas Chainsaw Massacre vibes, if you ask me. And it also explains why Alice was actually looking for dead skin. It was for her dear brother, Mousy, a.k.a. Johnny. Right? And so, this is really disturbed the hell out of me. Honestly, it did. It really did. And it was just really creepy because, you know, when they went to the diner, this lets me know that Alice put this all in her part. This was all part of Alice's plan. To get, to start picking, you know, dead bodies, that, that gets kids' attention. And then go to the diner to spike Kate's drink because she passes out. And then there's a standoff, you know. Now, mind you, back when Kate was actually interrogating Alice, she said, look, either you tell me who Mouse is and everything like that and what you guys are planning, or I'll call Jacob. And this, and this provides Kate with leverage. Because, like I said, if Beth doesn't tell them anything, Jacob will come here and put her ass in Arkham. So, continuing, they end up with a standoff, you know, between... And Jacob, Kate, Beth, and Mouse, a.k.a. Johnny. And she tells, now, Alice tells Johnny, look, I got a present for you for my dear brother. A gift. Some new flesh. Some new skin. Like I said, it made my damn skin, my damn skin crawl. Now, aside from, you know, Mary's, Mary and Catherine's melodramatic confrontation, and Mary's um, mess with Luke. This episode was pretty good. I, I really like it. I mean, it's moving at a snail pace, but a lot of more character focus and development is being focused on this week's episode, and I really liked it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below, man. This is Boy Chair Speaks. Peace and love. You guys know the drill. 
like the button, like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment what you guys want to see me do a video on next. Peace and love.